Hi, I'm CJ Altenberg with TransWest Truck Trailer RV in Frederick, Colorado. We appreciate you tuning in. So if you're in the market for a show trailer, a pin system trailer, we've got a really cool one sitting here behind me. We're going to walk you through this morning. It is a 2023 Cimarron Showstar LX. This is a 10 pin adjustable pin system. Uh, we did a lot of extras on this trailer. <clears throat> so before we start walking you through it and showing you all the cool stuff that we did to this trailer, we'll go ahead and take a look at the drawing. That way you can kind of see how this trailer actually lays out. So it is a 10 pin. We went ahead and did an eight foot front tack room on this one. <clears throat> it's gonna make it 28 foot three on the floor. We're eight foot wide with it being the LX version. And then on top of that, we actually went ahead and did this. This trailer is six, eight tall. Give you a little bit more height than the standard six, four that you'll see on most of the LXs. But again, the LXs are a very well equipped model, but we always go in and put a few more touches to it. And this one is very unique from that standpoint. So bear with us, we'll walk you through this with the options that we've done on this trailer. Uh, one of the very first things that you're gonna get when you get the LX model is an electric over hydraulic jack. So this is a single leg, it is a manual, it does have a manual override. So we can actually just push a button up and down it goes. You get in situations where if you need to hand crank this on or off, you can. <coughs> Over to the right of that, you're gonna notice we did generator brackets. That way you can set a portable generator right on this, strap it down. We did put a power package on this that we'll show you when we get in the tack room, but where that plug is located, at, it's actually right over here to the right of the battery box itself. Um, so you can run that cord right up and plug it in. But again, that's a great place to be able to store and secure your onboard generator. We don't have to put it in the truck. We don't have to put it in the tack room and worry about it when we get to a show. You know, it has a place to live. That's great if we have places where things can just store and stay. We've got a battery box. It's a little cold in, in, uh, here this morning, so things are a little bit frozen. Uh, but we do have a battery disconnect, so that way... If we go to park this trailer, get home, we can reach in there and turn that off, killing all power to it. <coughs> Excuse me, so if anybody leaves a light on, we're not draining this battery to where we have an issue when we come up to this jack itself. Spare tires located to the left of that. We'll kind of talk a little bit more about these wheels and tires when we get to the back of the trailer, but you do have an aluminum spare on this trailer as well. Eight too long nose, that's standard on Cimarron's. I think that helps the way that these trailers tow. Most competitors run a 7.6, seven, 7.8 seven, long nose, uh, but a little bit longer nose. The other great thing is if you're running like a long box pickup and you drop the tailgate, you can still walk behind it. And with that generator bracket extended, it's nice to have that extension of the actual nose itself. And on this one here, we opted for the black sheeting. White is a standard color on Cimarron's. And then from there, well, there'll be an upcharge when you go to like black, the silver metallic, charcoal metallic, champagne. They can do custom colors. We can do fully polished stainless sheets on these trailers as well. Um, but this one here is, is black. Black is probably one of the more popular options. The charcoal metallic, uh, those, those are definitely the most common and most asked for uh, as far as the, the color options go there. Now, on this one, like I said, we went with an eight foot tack. Uh, one thing we've noticed over, <laughs> excuse me, the last couple of years is these tack rooms have gotten bigger. And we wanna be able to store a little bit more items with us, take a little bit more with us. Uh, but by having the larger tack rooms, we understand that a lot of these shows now you're showing off the trailer. So having a lot more accommodations actually in the front tack room is definitely nice and again, very sought after today. So with it being eight foot wide, you're gonna have a step coming in. It makes that transition really, really easy coming in and out of this uh, tack room itself. And then as we come in, we got a lot of things going on here. Let's kind of start over here on this driver's side wall. So you'll notice some cabinets up here. Again, a little bit cold this morning, but it's on a gas shock. This is great to be able to throw some smaller items in here. So they're not moving around in transit on you. Um, definitely having some storage there. We put a little shelf kind of directly above those. You know, this could be a place for a, a little smaller, a little bit more compact type of a microwave you could actually set up on this. We actually have a power plug right behind it. So we kind of wanted to have <coughs> this area designated to be able to have some power, maybe store something up here. Maybe you're just throwing phones up here to charge that type of a scenario. 
that's a good look at that 30 amp breaker box directly ahead of, of that shelf there. That is what we were talking about, that plug on the bottom side. That's where that's running up into. You also have a, a converter up there. So when you're plugged in a power, whether it's that portable generator or an external power source, it's actually gonna charge your, your 12 volt battery as well. So that's a nice little step that we have there. We went ahead and carpeted all these interior walls in here, um, just finishing off the trailer, making it really nice. And, and again, maybe um, just a little bit more warmth to it. Um, you have some lights in here, some LED lights up in the gooseneck. Again, more outlets in the top rail. We wanted one on the other side as well. And then we have a shelf with a clothes rod below it. So again, if you're showing off this trailer, this is a great place to throw some uh, hanging clothes for the kids if they need to, a change. It's got, a, again, a place for it to store and stay out of the way. An 18 inch boot box that runs across. The 18 inch boot box is great because you can fit the, la the larger buckets actually in that. And it works as a great transition hopping up into the gooseneck. <coughs> now, if you notice this gooseneck uh, deck and drop wall area, and then it even transitions down into the floor itself, but it's this gray rubber. Um, this gray rubber flooring, we're doing a lot more. It kind of started on the, the livestock trailer side. And then from there, uh, we're starting to incorporate, incorporate it quite a bit on our horse trailers as well. But it's great. It's real easy to clean. It does have grip to it, uh, but it's not the carpet that will get kind of uh, some stains in that kind of musty smell over time. Um, it holds that. This won't do that. This is fantastic. Again, really easy to clean itself. And behind me, let's take a look at that. You actually have a couch. So this is a great place to come in, sit down, kind of relax. Again, if you're showing off the trailer, um, maybe you've got certain places where you got real long lines to go check in at some of these majors and those type of items. It's nice to have that type of a scenario. That is a jackknife style too, so it will fold down actually into a bed as well. We continued the carpet clear over to the, the partition wall. We put two rows of airliner track there for you. Um, there's different pieces that you can actually get to snap in here. Uh, a lot of times, a lot of people do hooks, and then with the carabiners on their actual feed pans, they'll just snap them in there. But you've got the ability to store some items, secure them in transit, and then you've got a pass-through door that will actually go directly into the stall area. So if you're preparing some, some feed pans, those type of items, and needing to just kind of jump into the stall area, you've got the ability to do that with your pass-through door. So again, that bigger tack room, it gives us the ability to do a lot more things in there. Uh, again, you know, a lot more accommodating. You've got that couch, you've got the additional storage, you've got that power in there. On the LX, you're going to also have your side ramp. <coughs> so we also have a gate going over the actual side ramp itself. There is a gate going across the opening on the other side as well. We've got a couple 16-inch awning lights for you, one kind of position between the tack and the side ramp, and then one kind of over by the wheel well itself. With your LX, you're going to have your drop windows that are standard. So we have the drop windows actually down on this one right now. Below those are also gonna be a third air gap with the fold down aluminum slat. Now, this is a newer piece, a newer option. We'll show you from the inside as well, but there's a plexiglass on the inside. So it gives it a little bit more um, airtight as far as that's concerned. Um, but boy, having those lower air gaps and those fold downs is really nice because you know, if it's really cold in the morning, you leave and it starts to warm up and you want to get some, some air movement, it's easy to just jump out of the, the truck and drop those rather than actually having to remove plexiglass and figuring out where to store that. Again, it's a real simple process there. This is a small feature. We do this on quite a bit of our longer trailers, eight wide trailers. It's an amber turn signal. So that will indicate when we actually put our blinkers on, hit our brakes, but it works as an additional marker light. As you can see, we did a spread axle on this trailer itself. These are two 7,000 pound rubber torsion Dexter axles, 16 inch aluminum wheels. We did the black with the silver on that. It ties in really well with this color scheme on this trailer. 
But then we actually upgraded to 14 ply tires on this trailer itself. So a little heavier duty tire. I like going with a little bit heavier duty tire. That's one place that I feel like you don't want to skimp. Um, so it's nice to go ahead and upgrade into that. You'll have electric brakes on this trailer as well. So the big thing is always just looking at your tow vehicle, making sure you understand its towing capacity itself. A lot of these new trucks all have the integrated brake controllers. Um, so that's a simple process. Usually you have that. If not, you get, need to do an aftermarket. Now, one thing <coughs> that we've been doing the last few years is these wraparound hinges. Uh, we actually noticed this at shows. The, the old style um, or the other option is a, a welded hinge that these doors just kind of 90 off of this trailer. So if you're showing off this and you're parked next to people, you're constantly having to either open or close those doors to where the wraparound gets to the side of the trailer it's easier just kind of getting through um, if you are at some of those shows where we have trailers stacked up. So wraparound hinges kind of get out of the way, uh, secure to the side. We've got dual 50-50 ramps here at the back. So you can, you know, open and close one or the other. These are independent doors as well. But these are really nice for especially some of your younger, uh, you know, juniors that are showing. You know, these aren't as heavy because it's not one full ramp. Uh, Cimarron does a good job on their springs when it actually gets up to the trailer itself. It wants to suck in. So they are a lot easier to operate, but the 50-50, if you do have some younger kids, that does help there. We have two 16-inch awning lights at the back. So again, a lot of light coverage on this trailer. We actually upgraded and put on backup lights. We're doing this on a lot more trailers in our inventory. Look, we understand you're going to be getting places in the dark, getting home late at dark or or unfamiliar places. Our backup lights on the truck are a long ways from the back of this trailer. So to be able to throw it in reverse and have those kick on, it is a nice small feature to have. <coughs> now, as we get into this pin system, again, it's a 10 pin system. These are adjustable as well. So we can take these from a 50-50 setup that we currently have on this trailer and very easily just swap it over to a 60-40 having an alleyway. Real simple to use, you just break it loose, pull it out, swing it over to the other side into that plunger, lock it into place, there you go. We're set up now to an alleyway if we want. <coughs> the nice thing about it is, is all these are adjustable, so you know you can have different size pins depending on what you're actually, you know, Holland to different shows, different ages. Um, we also did two uh, feed rods on each side. Again, understanding maybe you need feed pans a little bit lower for some younger projects. And as they get bigger, we can actually move it up itself. Now, these are actually a little bit shorter panels on this one. These are 31 inch panels, um, 37 standard, but we went with the 30, 31s. Once you bed down, it's a lot easier being able to reach over, grab feed pans, anything like that from the other side of the actual panels themselves. But by having this ability to just break these down, um, change and manipulate install sizes, it really, really helps. <clears throat> it is a nice feature. We can also just take out sections. So I can break these loose and take out an actual uh, post and remove it. Um, if you ever do decide to break this trailer down and get rid of all the panels at some point, one little trick is actually just taking a marker and writing on post one, two, three, four, five, and on your way back. So when you go to put them in, you know exactly what order they need to go in. Um, and it'll save a lot of time, a lot of hassle from that standpoint. Now, we line and insulated the interior walls on this trailer as well. There's a good look at that plexiglass on the side. Those inserts, there's actually a storage tray for those. So if you decide to take those out, there's a storage tray right up at the front, up on that partition wall going into the front tack room. So you've got a place for those to live as well. Now, you know, um, one thing a lot of customers will do is they'll either bed down in this or they'll go with worm flooring, something along those lines, because uh, that way with these cutouts for the actual uh, posts, it makes it a lot easier than having to deal with mats. And let's be honest, we don't want hogs rooting up mats. So you either go without and just bed really deep or you go with worm flooring. The other thing when you put worm flooring is it almost works like another insulation on the bottom side of this for your projects as well. 
comes standard with an insulated roof. That is on every single Cimarron. So that is a really nice feature. So now we have line and insulated walls. We've got it on the ceiling. If you wanted to, you could do that worm and it'll help or you just bed really deep on the floor itself. But that, so that helps with uh, temperature control substantially, about 20% cooler than aluminum sheeted roofs, this actually insulated roof. So again, keeping projects cool in the real hot uh, summer months, it makes a massive difference there. And then we have two-way roof vents to manipulate airflow. We have drop windows, we have lower air gaps, we have an insulated roof. We have two-way roof vents, again, making a massive, massive difference in how we can actually control this temperature. We actually have some outlets in the top rail. We have one over here on passenger side, and then we've got three over here <coughs> on driver's side. We have one in the front, one in the middle, one towards the rear. If you notice, we've got this airliner track off the roof bow. So what we can do is we can actually get some inserts, connect them in there. You can actually hang some fans, hang some heaters, those type of items there. So. Um, that's an aftermarket piece there, but boy, to have that, to be able to hang fans and again, help with airflow, it makes a big difference and just general temperature control back here. But that's where that 30 amp breaker and that portable generator bracket comes into play there. So really well set up as far as in this actual stall itself. There is actually a AC vent, or excuse me, an AC frame in here as well. So if you ever opted to want to go ahead and put an AC unit on the stall area, at least that part of it's done. Now we have to look at the power. Um, we do have that 30 amp breaker package on this trailer already. Now, we have an air conditioner in that front dressing room. So in order to run that, we need to make sure we have adequate power. So it might be an additional 30 amp breaker has to be added if you're wanting to run both of them at the same time. If you're okay with running one or the other, you can probably get away with it. Um, but we do have to look at those type of scenarios. So here's a good look at driver's side, those drop windows, same fold down slats. <coughs> Again, those that spread axle really hit, helps with weight distribution on this trailer takes away some tongue weight as well when you put that spread on there uh, it really helps the way the trailer pulls too it's going to pull more like a triple axle itself uh, by having that there's a good look at that escape door hopping into that uh, stall area again having the gate over it so again if you open this up getting a little bit more airflow it shows you've got the ability to get that kind of cross breeze through there by having the ramp and then this door but having those gates to make sure our our projects stay where they're supposed to and then you've got the polished extrusion. So the top rails, bottom rails, um, really just dresses this trailer up extremely nice. Uh, works well with that black itself. Um, you never acid wash polished trailers, you only citrus wash them. Acid will burn them, so you just want a citrus, it's a brightener. Um, if you find a, a really good uh, truck wash, they'll understand what, material, what chemicals to use, what not to use on those trailers themselves. So again, Really cool Cimarron Show Star LX 10 pin. I'm gonna give you the stock number on it. It's a 2023, that is 5N210 581. We do take trade-ins, financing's available, delivery's available as well. So give us a call, anybody in our sales team can help you out. Our number is 303-684-3400. We appreciate you tuning in, have a good day.